Zelda Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Today, we're heading out of World 5 and into the brand new world up above World 6. Whoa, this looks so cool. So we're up in the clouds and along with it is a very cloudy looking castle. All right. Whoa, I like the music too. And the little bubbles, I guess like little forming raindrops. That's so cool. So World 6-1 right over here, we have Clear Pipe Cruise. We'll be playing as Mario's brother once again, Luigi. So. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I love this song. This is one of the songs I've definitely heard a lot of uh, from this game. The soundtrack for this game is actually like quite popular. I feel like I hear it a lot, even though I haven't seen too much of this game. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. So I think we've experienced it before, but we can throw fireballs down these pipes. Now, I don't think I want to go down that pipe, but what happens if I throw another one down? Oh, well, maybe. Hmm, that looks like that's all it is now. Okay, let's just be careful. I do see the superstar there. Can I throw the pipes while I'm, I can't. But that doesn't matter. If I get the superstar, I can go like this. I can grab that first green star. Always good to be careful though. Let's see if we can't grab these as well. Almost there. Uh, okay, that was close, that was really close. Maybe not worth the risk, but we get a one up out of it, so that's fun. All right, I'll throw that down that way. I'm pretty sure, yep, that'll just hit him, no problem. Whoa, and there's another one, which I don't need right now. If I could keep one cat suit, that'd probably be perfect. Oh my, ready, ooh. Luckily, Luigi's super high jump. Makes this a little bit easier. Don't need to go specifically super fast at the moment. Oh, I do see here, we wanna hang out like that, and then go down, because we can choose which direction we go for these curved pipes, because the fireballs don't actually hurt the fuzzies. There we go. So I haven't quite found the stamp yet, but everything else is going really well. And here we go. <laughs> I like it when they do have like these like dynamic camera angles. There we go, whoa, don't run into that. So how do I wanna do this one? Hmm. I guess right now I can, whoop. There we go, that got rid of it. And then quickly run back around and just go up normally. Perfect. Once again, I don't quite need the fire flower. So this looks like another situation. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Thought that would end up worse than it did. Imagine if it just plopped me off into like an endless pit. That'd be mean. There we go. Yeah, so far this level's going great. And we're all this lead. Well, before we do, whoa, any of this. What's to our left? No, I didn't mean to. Now I need that fire flower. Well, I say that, but. I don't really, look at that. Luigi able to sort of make his own way around. That's cool. It wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but you know, it, it works out. Well, at least I didn't expect it to work out. So there we go, there's all three green stars, but we've yet to find the stamp. I'm sure it's coming up though. We'll, we'll, we'll ride around with the cat suit for it. Oh, are we sliding down this? I don't know if the cat suit can. Oh no, there we go, there we go. That was weird. Oh no. Gotta be careful with my, my timing here. But, there's one, there's the other. Now I gotta get the other two over this way. Thank you, and thank you. Sweet, so there it is. I might wanna buy some extra time yet just by doing that real quick. You always wanna go the same sort of clockwise, counterclockwise direction that they are though. Oh, it looks like I must have missed the stamp, unless Captain Toad has it, hey buddy. Hi, hey. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate, isn't it? I don't see it anywhere around here. All right then, well, we tried our best. I couldn't find it. We'll have to replay through the level then. All right, going like that, and boom. So we got everything also. We got the three green stars. We got the golden flagpole. Really fun level for sure. Not too difficult either. I was expecting a little bit more challenging, but I'm sure I'll start picking it farther in the world. Um, but yeah, there we go, lots of fun. I still really like this overall, the rainbow in the background, all the fluffy clouds, very relaxing. That's gonna open up World 6-2, of course, which we'll check out in just a moment. Press minus or uh, up to access the map and travel to worlds you've already visited. You can also use it to check out your stamp and green star collections, which we've been doing already. But let me hop back into World 6-1 and find this one's stamp. Huh, <laughs> I've been looking everywhere and I don't think it's up here because I think I'd be able to see it, but. No, there it is! Wow, all right, that's probably the sneakiest one we've seen so far. Huh, 
because you just cannot see that from any camera angle on safe ground. You you can only see that really. I know what am I doing? <laughs> That's not what I need. Um, you can only see that I guess when you're actually going to go get it. So you have to be an expert explorer for that one. I mean, I was very fortunate to stumble upon it, but uh, we'll just keep going and we'll move on to the next level now. All right, so for this one, we actually get a little Captain Toad stamp. That was really cute. All right, then. Ooh, and it looks like the next world is gonna be a ghost house. World 62 Spooky Seasick something. Spooky Seasick Wreck. Oh my. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be like a sunken ship or something. Yeah, look at this. Wow, so it really isn't a ghost house at all. Where that showed that then in the overworld? Whoa, this is so cool. What's up here? Anything? I mean, I can go back to where I started. Huh, odd. But this is so interesting. I love these kind of like just different atmospheres we haven't seen too much. Of course, we have seen like spooky ghost ships. We've seen that even back in like Super Mario World, but it's not something we see a ton. Like usually it's just a ghost house. So just being able to mess around with this is just really cool. That was a wobbly platform. I wonder if things are a little bit slipper slipperier because it's it's raining like this. Oh no, oh no. Ready, cool. Almost got him. I'm trying to knock them into this corner in the back. But maybe it'd be smarter to knock them this way. There we go. Whoop. My mic can't get you. <laughs> they're, they're being quite the bullies, which what do you know? I think that's their name, right? Even though their shape's a little bit different in this game. So maybe they are different enemies. Oh, and that's gonna be a green star. Okay, so it's definitely worth our time then. <laughs> was not expecting that. It was just gonna be satisfying to get rid of them. Well, I wonder if the fireball will hit them around. If not, I'll have to switch items, but that's not a big deal. And there are a couple of coins in there. I think this is the kind of level, especially since it's a ghost level, I do want to be thorough with and try to find everything. Because it could be the difference between finding all the secrets and not finding them. Whoa. There we go. And over there, there's a coin. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. Will I be able to go back? I'm not sure, I guess we'll find out. Well, this gave me a stamp, so it looks like that was worth the effort. I oh, know. I keep forgetting you can't get rid of the booze by hitting them with fireballs, but that'll help. Give me that real fast. Oh, and look down there. Looks like it was good that I did that because there is, I oh, no. Okay, you, you get out of here for free. I hope you're appreciative of that. But down here's a green star. Which matches perfectly with Luigi. All right, almost there, almost there, got it. And we're back. Okay, this is exactly where I was hoping it'd be. Let's grab the checkpoint real fast. And then, what's going on down here? You can see, whoa, we're building up speed if we do that. We gotta be careful. There we go. Honestly, this is one of the few Mario games where I'm not constantly sprinting everywhere. Only like when I, I need to, or where there's a space to. Just because it can be quite risky to do that at times. I feel like the controls are a lot more difficult in this game than even in like 3D land, oddly enough, which 3D land was could be sometimes, oh gosh, can I go under? Yeah, I can. Could sometimes be hard to control just because of the 3DS circle pad. So it's weird that I find this one at times more difficult to control. There we go, yeah, this is much easier to do. I just throw all those fireballs at him. Much easier than Mario 64 where there were no fireball power-ups. All right, and there we go. Stealthful was, you know, a bit daunting, but actually not too bad. Oh uh, no, wait! Ah! Uh, I thought I could clear that if I did that. I should've just ignored it, because with Luigi, you can get the top of the flagpole just from the ground with the cat suit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess I do have to replay it then, darn. Well, there we go, we get a Fire Flower stamp for that one. Which we didn't get a cat suit out of that, so might actually have to go to a different level to get a cat suit just so I can run through and complete the level really fast. That's sort of a shame, though. We do unlock two more pathways over here, and before we go do it, we'll explore the map a little bit, because over to the right here, I do see a hidden pipe thing. Awesome, this led to its own secret level, and this time it does too. So before I move on to any full-on new levels, I do want to complete this one 100%. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab a cat suit from the first world real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna be nice and careful this time. I'm just gonna go right over here. With the cat suit, it's so much easier. You just slam, jump, and then climb. There we go. As easy as that. And I mean, I don't even think you need to do that for the cat suit. As long as you get like a straight jump from the floor, you can just climb up. But 
You know, I just wanted to do something a little extra, I guess. There we go. Okay, so now we can move on to that Fire Bros level. I just don't like moving on to other levels if I don't have the previous ones completed, you know? Uh, so, yeah, this is gonna be, I guess, 6A if I had to guess, which I thought we'd already run into all the Fire Bros ones. I mean, that was my guess is there was only gonna be two for whatever reason. World 6B, Fire Bros Hangout, or Hideout number three. I don't have a fireball myself, so I don't know if that's really gonna affect things here, but I have the catch suit, so hopefully that'll be enough to defend me. We have 100, second, 100 seconds to get rid of them all. Oh, we got boomerangs as well. And Hammer Bros. This actually might be our first time seeing Hammer, Hammer Bros in the game. Oh boy. Ready? Gotcha. With plenty of time to spare. Not bad. All right then. So there's another one done. They're trying to throw more and more Hammer Bros and Fire Bros and every kind of bro at us, but it's not going too well for him. So it gets us an additional green star. Building up quite the collection at this point. Very exciting. And what do we got here? This is gonna be 6-4, so this we'll tackle later. For right now we have this one, which requires 100 green stars. We're well above that quota for 6-3, which will be a very cool looking level. I like the atmosphere. Hands on hall. What is that supposed to mean? Whoa, this reminds me a lot of Bowser's Kingdom. Oh, I gotta use this right here. So if we use the little touch thing, which we've used in previous episodes, uh, we can move back to sliding doors. And I guess I can also like stun enemies for a moment. Sort of hard to choreograph all that, so I don't know if it's really, hmm, I mean, it's not too bad. We do get the boomerang, Mar or Luigi again. I was gonna say boomerang Mario, but not quite. What's over here? Ooh, secret. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Aha, well we get a mushroom out of it, I guess. Hmm. So yeah, if you're good with it, you can sort of just freeze enemies like that and get through that way. Weird that that really didn't like give us too much. Thought that'd be like a, oh, here we go. Like a green star or something. But it wasn't, no big deal. Got some extra coins out of this one. This is fun though, I just like revealing these little secrets. Whoa, what's behind door number one? Well, we got one of the Goomba helmets. Let's definitely grab that. Wait, I'll, I'll grab this one. And now we're Goomba Hammer Bro Luigi. Or Boomerang Luigi. I don't know why I'm getting my words mixed up right now. And I can't actually, hmm. But this can, oh cool. Yeah, but I can't throw my boomerangs when I have the Goomba hat on. That makes sense, you know, his arms are sort of covered up, but I'm a little disappointing. Whoa, so this is our first green star. We didn't miss anything. And these Goombas, they don't even know. They just, they, they're none the wiser to the fact that we're not actually a Goomba with green legs. Okay, uh, I guess that doesn't do much, much to this guy. There we go, but the butt slam gets all the coins out of him. Hmm. So I've gotta be careful jumping on these guys because if we get hit, they'll, they'll all realize our, our ploy, our plot to fool them. Won't be so happy about that. Okay, we can move all the way. Is there a way to like recenter it? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, because it's like sort of off to the side, even though I'm pointing it straight. How do we get this? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Aha, now I do. Wait, I gotta get rid of the, the Goomba hat though. Can I just get hit then? There we go. Well, I've been unveiled to truly not be a Goomba. That's okay. There we go. I love how even these will turn green for Luigi or whoever's having them. That's probably very useful in multiplayer, which I don't think I've mentioned too much, but this game actually has online multiplayer, which the original did not. And that's pretty exciting. Sort of makes me a little bummed to think that like, okay, they added new Super Mario Bros. U to the Switch and they didn't give that online. Why did they give this one online too? Like, you know, you think you'd, you'd sort of give it all equal treatment, but you know, something is better than nothing for sure. And I'm glad that at least we know that this game has online. And that might mean that more Mario games in the future will probably have online. So that's very exciting. Anyways, those are all of our key coins. Before I mess with any of that though, still just sort of looking around to see if there's more. It looks like I could probably get up here, right? Yep. Is there anything up here for me now? Whoa. Whoa, it's the end of the level. Hold on. I'm not ready for that. Uh, let's try this then. I'm just looking for the uh, the badge or the stamp. 
Oh no, oof. There we go. And the final green star. Wait, is there more? There's more fallen. Give me some extra coins out while you're at it. I like the gold foil on the walls behind us. That looks cool. <laughs> the, the, the floors are very squeaky as well. Excuse me. You don't mind? Hmm. I feel like one of these has to have like a secret up here. But it doesn't look like it. Spikes are everywhere right now. Whoa, how did I jump clear over them? That's sort of the thing about Luigi that's a little tough. Sometimes you can sort of overdo your jumps. And before we go through that, what, what is this about? Aha, here we go. So here's the mystery box, which is great. But still no stamp in sight. Stamps have been very challenging so far in today's episode. But yeah, I'm not seeing any stamp anywhere. Huh, I must have missed it then, because obviously we were already way down there. Hmm. All right, so once again, I'll have to redo the level <laughs> to find the stamp. At least we got it through done, done through once. Yeah, my words are going crazy right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, in front of the, the, the very pretty full moon, Luigi was able to complete this level. This one was fun. Aesthetically very cool. I love like out of left field levels like that. Really, really cool. And that's gonna get us up to 150 green stars in total. We just gotta hop back in and get that on stamp. Whoa! We got like a, a night bully. Very interesting. Let's get back into 6-3 to find that stamp. Whoa, whoa! I didn't even realize this was a whole thing out here. Oh, okay, so on top of the, yeah, right here, okay. Wow, that's sneaky. That might be just as sneaky as the other one. I guess it was just sort of in the foreground, but there was sort of like, there was no tell. I just sort of stumbled. I was fortunate that I did, but I actually looked through the level like a couple of times to find it, so <laughs> definitely took me some time there. Very sneaky, I don't know how I feel about that one, but shows you we need to be extra, extra diligent for uh, stamps at this point, because they can be absolutely anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, there we go, we got it this time. I don't like to see what the, the uh, stamp is, so. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a spike, right? There was a lot of spikes in this one. Or have we already gotten a spike stamp? Oh, it was the little coin guy, which he was in the level, so that makes sense. All right then. What's exciting is that stamp board is getting more and more filled up. I think we can see it from this page, right? Yep. I think we're almost to a point where we have more stamps than we don't, if you know what I mean. There's more filled spots and vacant ones. Anyways, we're getting in the world 6-4 this time, which is Deep Jungle Drift. Sounds like fun. Oh, I like it. I, I just, I really like the jungle levels in this game. They just have like this cool vibe to them. So even though we've seen a couple of jungle levels, I'm not complaining. The more the merrier. I do see that B. Yeah! I didn't realize it was gonna move on me. <laughs> hmm. No, thank you, sir. No, wait, 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 wait. Woo, that was close. This, this purple goop is a one-hit takedown, so we gotta be real careful of stuff like that. Okay, I don't know where this is gonna lead. We're about to find out. Actually, not too much. I mean, that's cool and all, but I'll hop down here at least for a moment. I'm gonna grab that. I'm just gonna sort of let these guys snooze. If I can, ah, oh, darn. Just the slightest mishap though, sends you right into the goop. Not good. Okay, well at least we know it's probably just an extra power up I won't need too much. So maybe I can just keep moving forward and that does get us a stamp. And I'm pretty certain that we haven't really, well there's the green star. So as soon as this next one platform pops up, cause luckily it's not just like one of them. If you miss your chance, it's not done forever. Oh no, <laughs> I did it too soon. Oh gosh. All right, well luckily we don't have to get it again. We would have just had to time that better. Oh, and look at this with the cat suit. If I timed that a little bit better as well, I could have actually gotten a uh, bunch of coins there. Ooh, and here's our next green star. See, that's sort of the thing about this level. It's hard to sort of get everything. Like all the coins and power-ups in one go, just because there's like an up and a down portion that makes everything so crazy. I think I'm just not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna keep moving. I don't think I missed the third green star and all that. We just got the second one from that. And what's up here? Just some extra coins. 
All right, you get back in there, sir. Might as well try to get rid of this guy a little bit. Oh, that is so risky for no reason. <laughs> Why did I do that? And anything up here? Not looking like anything I can get. So we just gotta wait on this raft. Oh no. Oh, no, this ride's about to get a lot more exciting. Hold on tight, Luigi. <laughs> Sink your claws in. Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's a straight drop. Oh. <laughs> Glad it didn't like dip into the, the goop at all. That would've been bad. And I wonder if, can I like squeeze under? I can't, okay, I can't, I can't. Let's get out of here. But where's the third green star? Wait a minute, hold on. I am so confused. The collectibles have gotten so difficult to find. Somehow in all that, we still miss the third green star. All right, well, you know what that means. I gotta go back through the level again. But for right now, we got everything else. At least when we miss stuff, we're missing everything but that one thing, right? So. That sort of balances it out a little bit. All right, well, 6-4 was quite the doozy, very intense, and we do get a little sleeping cat toad as our stamp. Adorable. Whew, how many levels are left of this world? This one seems like it's quite the doozy. Yeah, that's gonna lead to another path. We've already, of course, gotten that part figured out. Let's just hop back into this level and find that last star. Oh, I can see it! I was so close with my little inspection earlier. But I just barely missed it. I thought, oh, maybe you gotta go under there, and that's all I checked. Should have been a little bit more thorough, because it was right there the whole time. All right then, so right at the end of the level as well, so luckily this is a very short level when you're storming through it. There we go, not too bad. All right then, so now we're actually good to move on to that bully fight. That was uh, not how I expected things to go, but that's fine, that's fine. All right then. So let's keep moving, whoop. That gets us to 153. And whoa, we get one of the roulette things. I'll maybe tackle that later. I sort of, we're only going to move into something new. This is World 6A, Prince Bully Blockade. Okay, so there's supposed to be a prince. Hmm, looks more like a knight to me. Oh boy. So what do we do about this? I hit him into the pipe. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Got him turned into a tin can there. This is cool. Oh wait, one more hit, one more hit. I thought that was it. <laughs> I love seeing them all squished like that, that's funny. All right, so far so good, just do that one more time. I'm assuming. And there we go, we got him. All right then, we got, what's it called, Prince in a can, right? All right then, well we're not on the out, course clear. And let's uh, keep it moving. What do we got after that? There's a pipe over here I'm a little curious about. I don't know where that leads, but it's clearly not like the main path of the levels. But there's a nice little rainbow bridge. And I'm guessing levels six, five, and six, six. But what's, what's up here? Ooh, look at this. We get a nice view of the entire world. I like it, and we also get the Sprixy house. So this is where we'll, I, I, I think, get the purple Sprixy. We're about to find out, because that's what we said last episode, right? And there it is. She's looking very happy. All right then, so with that done, we can get back to the main action. That was definitely fun though. It's just so cool that we're making such good progress through the game. There's so many levels in each world, it can feel sort of impossible to get through them all, but just slowly but surely with each one, we get it done. So that's 6-6, six, six. this is 6-5. Oh, and it's a snow one with the little ski again. World 6-5, Typhoo Flurries. Already seems very relaxing. I wonder if the ice flower, whoa, it's these guys. I thought these guys were new to Mario Odyssey. Huh, weird. It'd be cool if we got the ice flower though. Before I use that though, let me very quickly climb up here. Just curious, just some extra coins. All right, and I'll grab that. I also wanna see if this can, can this get rid of these guys? It can't, it will stop their little routine they got going on there, just for a moment, which can be good. We're about to get blown off by them. Hmm, and these guys are in 3D land. I don't know if we could take care of them now. Oh boy, here we go, gotcha. I'll borrow this, thank you. Ow, no, I just got it, my fun ruined. Oh, that might be a problem. 
as you can see, there's a stamp. I mean, if I'm really stubborn, it looks like it actually does go up and down, so. Oh no, oh no, oh! Well, they're gonna make sure I go on here regardless if I want to or not. Ah, oh, that hurts. Okay, let's switch over to the cat suit. Don't wanna die here. But I do think I saw, yeah, right up here, ready? Uh, No, no, wait, come on, not fair, not fair. I was figuring something out. Uh, almost. <laughs> yeah, let's do the butt slam. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I get a power up out of that? No, I can't. Stop! Oh! <laughs> That's so cruel, I keep messing it up. Because it looks like I'm above the little wind turbine. You'd think that would mean that like, I'm in the clear, but no, apparently not. Yeah, I do it like that, it just, it doesn't count. I don't like it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep throwing these fireballs at them every chance I get, because they, they, they end up firing off so often. There we go. Because that was sort of the problem, is I just couldn't get past him. Oh no, oh no, wait, 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 wait! I don't understand. Okay, wait, wait! Ah! <laughs> that was too intense. I was just trying to slide, and it just, Luigi wasn't sliding. Hello, can you show me what's coming up? Cause I do think, yeah, there's a green star right there. We already got the stamp and there is a purple box right there. So we, I believe then, know where everything we need to be is. Oh, look at this. So I'll oh, take him out by just running into him like that. Wait, what? That was, that was not nice. They didn't give me the, the ice skate. So before we lose this one, let's go into this box. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I think I do probably, like, do I need to get to the end? Do I need to take out all the Goombas? Both, maybe? Ooh. Okay, I just gotta get to the end. Boom, just barely did it, don't fall off. And that was fun. Oh, and they're all back. Yeah, that one just doesn't give me one for some reason. Okay, only this one did. Maybe it only gives you one if you don't have one. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I thought that would destroy it. That's sort of a shame. Now with this one, we gotta do the opposite. Oh my. Oh, come on, you're kidding me. I guess I wasn't doing it quite often enough. That's fine. I think that still counts, weirdly enough. So you know what, I wanna take it. I feel like I wanna go and get that one the proper way. Just to show everybody who's struggling to get it, how to get it without losing a life. But you just have to time it well, right? So, no, whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that, we walked one step too far. Luigi's definitely a lot more slipper, slipperier than Mario, you gotta get used to that. Oh no, I still have the ice skate, which makes this a little bit more complicated. Wow, but that's all you gotta do. That was cool. Oh no, oh no, come on Luigi, you can make it. That was a little weird. Oh my. I could see how this could get complicated. Ow! Oh, the perspective was not kind to me. Oh no, I don't like this, I don't like this. If we lose our life again, that would not be fun. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. We're in the clear, we got it. Please let that be the end of it. I don't have any power-ups right now. I'm really, really beat up from this level. Okay, there we go. Ready, long jump! Yeah, we made it! So that's the full level done. All three green stars, a stamp, golden flagpole. Thank you very much. Whew. That was definitely a tough one. Every level has been a tough one, though. The game is just difficult from here on out. Oh, we got a little ice skating Mario. I like that one. Okay, so 6-5 is completed. I think that's probably gonna unlock a little side level. Maybe a mushroom hut, that'd be nice. Yeah, there we go. Ask and you shall receive, at least sometimes. So let's go ahead and get world six uh, mushroom hut completed. Please, yeah, there we go. So I wanna keep, I think, Tanuki Leaf and uh, Katsu are my favorite two. They're the most acrobatic, which is typical what we need in the majority of situations. Okay, so uh, back over this way. There's a couple of things I wanna do. Like we can move on to this level, but before we do, we also have this. I think this might be one of the last times I do this one. Just because I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen it quite a lot now. Uh, you get the idea. Oh no, and I missed, I messed up the timing. Oh, really bad. Okay, I'm gonna get one of life from it. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I might do it off camera just so we can earn up more lives, but showing you at the same time over and over, it's the same thing every time, unfortunately. 
it's not like we need the lives. I mean, we've died a lot in this episode, and we're still over 80 lives. I think, I think we're gonna be okay. But uh, World 66 Bullet Bill Base. Let's see what this one's all about. Looked very vertical from its little preview diorama, and indeed it is. Bullet Bills are never an easy enemy to deal with. Before we go over there, okay, hold on. What's down this way? I got it now. A little bit of grass on the floor. Aha! Ah! There we go. What's over here, though? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat too. Oh no, but I shouldn't have. Darn, that sort of stinks. I was already immediately lost my Tanooki Leaf, which doesn't pop up too much to begin with, but usually it does pop up in the levels where you need it. It's just nice to have. Hmm. Okay, there was a quite a lot going on there. I gotta have missed something. All right, well, we get a bunch of coins out of this one. Anything more? Whoa. Not really. Whoa, that was close. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, I don't trust the clouds anymore. No more clouds for me. I don't really need them. I just need to get over, over here. That's all I want. What's up with all this? It feels like there's a bunch of pathways to go to the same spot. That's sort of weird. Because then there's all this over here, but none of it leads to what I'm trying to get to. Well, you know what? That's cool and everything. I'm sort of now figuring out. I think that orange box is gonna lead, you know, to progressing through the level, so we don't quite want to do that just yet. First, I'm gonna destroy all these boxes, because it's fun. Aha, and he has a green star. Please let it be. Yep, green star number one. Whoa, be careful. So now we should be able to head down without an issue. I'll double check with the Sprixie just to sort of get a good lay of the land. I do see the purple box and the other green star. So the only thing that's not, oh, there it is. I was gonna say immediately apparent is the stamp, which is way up there at the top. So we know where everything is relatively. So now we can keep an eye out for it. I should probably save this for later since I don't need it now, but I don't know if I'll be coming back, so I want the extra points. But there we go, there's our purple box. Oh my. Oh, that's so cool, so we have to climb on like the, on the spinning wheel on the wall. That was cool, I like that one. And what about this? Nothing. Okay, so might as well grab this extra time! I was trying to long jump off of that. Didn't quite get the results I wanted. Hmm. All right, extra coins for me. Maybe shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi. <laughs> okay, so what I was really trying to do was get over here. We can start climbing up more stuff. The cat suit does make this level so much easier, so you definitely want to try your best to keep it. Hmm. Whoa. I, I don't know if I would suggest Luigi for this level, though. Sometimes this floaty jump can get you into more trouble than you wished for. Okay, so there is the green star right over there. So we can climb up this without too much of an issue. And then along with it, we could probably use Luigi's uh, long jump just to get around. All that, but. And there's the end of the level right there. We're not quite ready for that, though. Because, oh, be careful, be careful. I thought that was gonna be higher up. And we got it, as easy as that. All right then, so that level was definitely challenging. We died a couple of times, but the actual collectibles were in some pretty obvious spots, so happy to see that. And that's gonna be, oh, a little Galoomba. It looks like Mario to the right of him, it's like jumped, just jumped off of him and was looking back. All right, so that's world six, six done, getting us at the 160 green stars. Looking good. And then this over here is uh, World 6-7. So yeah, I think this is the last main level before the castle. Fuzzy Time Mine. Looks like fun. Whoa. Okay, this one might be a little bit intense. There's a bunch of fuzzies coming up. We gotta move fast. Oh, and here's a Tanooki Leaf. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if they're gonna have the, the version of the leaf that turns into stone. Because you only got that at the end. Like after you beat the main Mario 3D Land game. There we go. 
Let's definitely grab that before it's too late. Keep it moving. I'm actually moving too fast right now. Screen can't keep up with me. Which can sometimes be a pain with a uh, auto scrolling levels. There we go. I do see the uh, green star over here. Can I just slam through? There you go. So you can slam through clouds. Oh no! Oh, no. And that's why you can't move too fast in all scrolling levels because you don't know what you're jumping into. That just squished me. Not good, but that's okay. Luckily we weren't too far into it. Whoa, I almost just did it twice. Had to stop myself there. Okay, nothing over that way though. So we're just gonna keep moving to destroy all these boxes. There, ah! Catching up to me, I didn't see you. Give me a bit of a spook there. Hmm. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Time to get the cat suit. These jumps are like higher than they look. It's a little bit weird, but we got it. The Goomba sort of helped me out with the seesaw there. Thank you, Goomba. Oh, you won? Hmm. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Climb, climb, climb. What is going on there? That was weird. There's a last green star, though. Uh, is it too late to get it? It might be too late for everything here. There we go. No, we're fine. I think we're fine. Why, why? The perspective is not being very kind to me at the moment. There we go, there we go. Oh, we made it. Phew, that was scary. That was one of the most intense levels yet. And there we go. So we did get everything. Just took some perilous jumps and scary moments. So yeah, even more progress going on here. And that is gonna give us the fuzzy stamp. So cute. Yeah. Hmm. See, I, I'm a little curious to see what this is gonna be to the right. Oh, it's a pipe, all right. Because I knew it could have been a Captain Toad level because those are usually just out in the open. You usually don't even have to unlock them. You can just run up and do them anytime. Oh, it's gonna be another mystery house one. We'll be getting a bunch of green stars from this one. This is World Six Mystery House. Mystery House Throwdown. Oh, there's a baseball. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with it. Okay, so maybe this one is all about baseballs? Oh, one right over. Oh no, not good, not good, not good. Whoop, maybe that one. Oh, I'm out of time, both of them went right over it. Weird, oh that's too bad. But at least you get to keep every green star you've collected so far. Come back again when you're ready for to try the rest. Unfortunately, I didn't get any. Um. There we go. Weird. So yeah, it's all gonna be about baseballs. Hmm. So let's jump, and then jump, throw. There we go. This is definitely very tricky. We're, we're, we're doing a little trick shots. So of course it's gonna be tricky. There we go, very nice. That's cool. I like this level so far. I'll do that two more times. What's the idea with this one? Um, I don't think it was supposed to be that. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I just sort of ran in head first on that one. Very silly of me. Okay, let's try this again. Jump throw. There we go. And that sort of does the rest of the work for you. I definitely overcomplicated that. It is sort of weird that you get to replay through all the levels leading up to this one though. Wow. Okay, I see the idea with this. Come on, quickly, quickly. Got it. That's actually not too bad of a one right there. That was probably the easiest one at the end. So there we go. We got all five, I think it was, all five of the green stars out of that. Very good. So now we're finally ready to tackle the castle. All right. I love how many levels there are in this game. It just like, it never ends. This is such a huge Mario game. Uh, World Six Castle though, oh my. It's gonna be Bowser's bob -omb Brigade. So this is gonna be another auto-scrolling tank kind of level, I think. Just like we had in, I think, World 2. Ooh. It's nighttime now, we can see the stars, the shooting stars as well, very, very cool. Anything back here, not looking like it. Look at these guys marching around. Oh my, that made them all scatter. Lost formation. Most of them walked right off the edge, too. Okay, avoid the fire, bro. I don't have any extra power, so I'm trying to be careful here. Aha! Well, now we have a Tanuki Leaf. And a bomb. 
Hmm. Here's more of them. bob are popping up all over the place now. And I guess I could, like, toss it up here. Oh, nice. All right, then. I can't quite see what, where I'm going right now. Whoa, a bunch of them. All right, then. Perfect. All right. Very, very cool. Just like Luigi says, it's cool. Hmm. With a lot of these, luckily, that's where the leaf power-up actually becomes super duper useful. You don't always need it, the, uh, the bob -ombs. Good to have that. You never know where there might be something hidden somewhere. I'm hoping that there's not like a stamp hidden under this one, because if so, it's too late. I'll grab this up real fast. Toss it over there. Oh, there is a green star in this one. So it shows that there definitely could have been a stamp in there. That's sort of a bit unfortunate, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, now the now the level sort of scrolling with me a little bit here. Okay, and I got rid of somebody. Very useful. Hmm. Oh, what's up here? I hear the shimmer in a. Oh, oh, okay, then no, no, that's over here. So where is the stamp at? Did we miss it? Oh no! I needed that guy then. And I can't go back over. Darn. There was no checkpoints this level were there. Is it worth it to fall off the edge and just try again? It would probably be more time, time efficient. I guess I'll see. I do start from the very beginning though. Okay, so I'll be right back and I'll get that last thing figured out. Okay, I think this is the one I needed, so thank goodness I was able to get it just barely. And then up here, right? Uh, there we go! That was a little scary, I just barely made that. So, I'm a little beat up now, we don't have any extra power-ups. Are we going against Boom Boom or Pom Pom? Looks like Boom Boom. All right, let's go for him. Luigi with your extra floaty jump, hopefully this turns out okay. Oh my, he's bouncing around. I'm very worried we cannot take much damage here. Okay, whoa, whoa. That was scary. Looks like he's picked up some ninja moves from his sister. All right, just gotta hit him one more time though, and then we're fine. Oh, got him. That actually was not too bad. All right then, so boom, boom, defeated. The boss fight much easier than the level was. And that'll save us another Sprixie. Very cool. So uh, let's get over there real quick. It's the blue one. She looks very concerned. All right, get these extra coins, and I really don't want to have to replay this level if I don't have to, so if we could just make extra sure we get that golden flagpole. Thank goodness. Wow, what a fun, fun world this has been. Very challenging, but lots of just like action in it, for sure. This game's keeping keeping me on the edge of my hooves, because I can't keep you on my toes, I don't got those. All right then, so. We do get, oh, they're so cute. I don't know what those enemies are called, but we get a little stamp of them. And that'll be 171 green stars in total. So as far as I can tell, that is this world fully completed. The blue Sprixie is gonna make our path to the next world now. Now we've already gone up to get here. Where are we going after this, I wonder? Even farther up, wow. That's interesting. So what's higher than the clouds? I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Uh, but for right now, it does look like we missed something somewhere. World 6C. It wouldn't be in here, right? I already went through here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, hmm. I wonder if I should go through that pipe to look. Maybe I should poke around some other places first, and if I can't find it, I'll go through the pipe. So I'm guessing and hoping it's up here, because I can't find it anywhere else. Oh. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. got ourselves another scary circus boss fight. This one looks a little bit more uh, defensive. I don't know, it looks more like a castle than the last one. I love the guitar mixed in there. It sounds so good. So World 6C, Motley's Boss Blob, or Motley Boss Blob's Big Battle. Motley Boss Blob. He sounds like an interesting character. Oh. They really know how to build suspense in this game, don't they? I don't have much in terms of power-ups, but I guess I got 
you know, the power of two here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't lose them right away. All right, so two Luigi's are certainly better than one. Let's make the most of it. Hmm. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, you're cute. So remind me of uh, some of the Koopalings. Whoa. Uh, oh my gosh. He's like Metal Mario, but huge and blobbish. This is cool. I don't know how we're gonna jump on him though. He's way up there. Whoa, okay. So our goal isn't too much to jump on him, but to jump on all of his blobs, I guess. But if we could jump on him, it seems like it's a good idea as well. Let's group up somewhere. There we go. Use the wall to our advantage. Oh my. But it's good that we got another cherry out of that, the double cherry. Oh. Okay, he's all split up again. Ah, oh, my lost one. Lost one and gained one. Nothing, nothing lost, nothing gained. Come on, come on. So we've hit him twice already. I'm guessing just one more time then. So he's gonna do his big jump soon. That's when he splits into a bunch of them. There we go, didn't even need the extra cherry. I'm still gonna grab it though. Very cool. That's an interesting new character, I like him. And there is our green star. Don't mind if I do. And we only need one of them to go through the pipe. The rest will sort of be teleported in. Now I don't know if, <laughs> If it's actually all that good that we have so many Luigi's, I thought that's gonna make it more difficult to get the golden flag. Why is one of them having a hard time keeping up? I don't know. One of the Luigi's is having an off day. There we go. And ready? Whoop! We got it! All right, another level completed. And that definitely, according to the leaderboard or the scoreboard or whatever, is fully gonna complete World Six Force in today's episode. Very difficult, but lots of fun for sure. So yeah, with that done. As you can see, 172 green stars. And just to be extra, extra sure, our course list fully complete. Yeah, it actually doesn't get any longer than that. So that has to be everything, right? So I wonder what the next world will have in store for us. We'll take that pipe to the right to find out in the next episode of Super Mario 3D World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.